fantastic. Such I, physical evidence would really help us understand the village and its people a lot better. Oh yeah, definitely. I can't wait for you to see it for yourself. Hey, look at this. <laughs> What'd you find, oh, Doug? Wow. That's a piece of coral. Look at the size of that. My goodness. That's straight from the Hawaiian Islands. That's right, there were Hawaiian Islanders out here in the village. Oh yeah, in the 1850s, this was called Kanaka Town or Kanaka Village, you know. Kanaka is a Polynesian term for native Hawaiian. Oh. Well, you know, we occasionally find little tiny pieces of coral and most of it was ground up into mortar to make chimneys inside the fort or our one brick building was the powder magazine. But out here, this is a complete big piece. This might have had a different kind of meaning. Yeah, what, what would it be doing out here? Well, you know, um, this might have meant home to the Hawaiian Islanders. This might have represented where they came from. Were there a lot of Hawaiian Islanders living out here? <laughs> Hawaiian connections all over this place. Oh, yeah, because there were uh, some, several houses out here that we know were associated with some of the Hawaiian employees, right? Yeah, well, you know, the most important Hawaiian was William Kalehalehi. That's right, I recall his, uh, his story. Quite a, quite a sad story there toward the end. Yeah, absolutely, but he was a very important Hawaiian here. And uh, right down that pathway leads to where William Kalehalehi's house was.